what's going on everybody so guess what we got our first code I uh, took the car out I probably ran it three times took some relatively first first run some good hits two good hits um, second one was a quick vid and um, another one was just uh, just you know getting the feel of the car and getting the car to learn uh, it's cold start so yesterday when I did my uh, Instagram and by the way I, I have an Instagram account under Coyotes North so check that out uh, I do some quick videos there some pictures and stuff like that it's kind of cool but um, that's when I was doing that video I uh, popped a code and uh, this is the first time a car has had a code so uh, I did talk to uh, Force Engineering the shop that did my tune and um, they said I can check it with the to find out what it is with the end gauge so we're gonna attempt to do that and then um, they'll get the code cleared for me whatever it is or I need to let them know what it is and they'll take care for me so um, anyways we are gonna walk through this this is new to me I've never done this before so uh, if you remember me saying this is going to be a learning curve um, going through some of this stuff so um, this is this is the first time you're going to be looking at this and uh, and likewise for me too so um, let's see if we can find out what this cold is so I'm going to get the key in the car apparently the car does not have to be running the key is on and uh, here's the end gauge Trying to get it plugged in. So what are we looking for? Our diagnostic trouble codes, and those are referred to as DTCs. So we are going to go ahead and plug this into our OBD2, which is our onboard diagnostics port. see what happens so HP tuners okay their diagnostics device info that's where we just were at all right as you can tell I've never uh, there we go. Diagnostic. Let's try this again. So let's see if we can find it in settings. It's not data logging. Read codes. Searching for a vehicle. Make sure key is on. Ooh, random multiple cylinder misfire detected. Well, that ain't good. Um, this is going to be a short video. <laughs> so that's what we got. Uh, I'm not going to clear it. Now, for some reason, it's powering off. Well, that's interesting. Um, let's see if we can turn it back on. Go back to diagnostics, read codes. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to send it to my tuner. One of five. Oh, holy cow. Clutch switch input circuit. Cylinder eight misfire detected. Cylinder two misfire detected. It's 
So random multiple misfire detective, which I think we got that one already. That's one of five. Let's go back the other way. We got the number two, number eight. Clutch switch input circuit. That's crazy. Clutch pedal switch A circuit. Now, I don't know what kind of codes those are. Um, that might have something to do with uh, another issue. I want to get those misfires taken care of. So there, uh, there it is. That's pretty uh, simple. That's pretty sweet, actually. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to take that to uh, Enforce Engineering. We'll let them know what they are, and then um, we'll see what they need to do to get them uh, corrected. Like I said, it's going to be a quick video. So while we're on, I do want to say, and we can, we can kind of go through the mods. Um, I know we picked up some new subscribers. That's awesome. So thanks, guys, for uh, subscribing. Uh, what we have is a 2012 Boss 302. Uh, we just turned 13,000 miles on it. I bought the car used with 9,000, so I put roughly 3,000 miles on the car. Since um, my purchase, I've added the GLT2 cold air intake, 85 millimeter throttle body, Dynatech long tube headers, Dynatech X pipe. Now that is a one and seven eighth inch header with a with a cat delete. Borla over the axle exhaust flow into a pair of uh, GT500 mufflers. For the shifting, we have a low shift racing shifter bracket, Barton short throw shifter, and then let me see what else we got up front. We got a Boss Racing Grill, 170 degree thermostat. I'm thinking, I always miss something. So most recently, um, oh, let me step back, back up. I've had so many mods. The uh, McLeod Dual Disc Clutch, which is an excellent cl clutch. It grabs um, really hard. Um, it's a great add for the car. It's good for 800 horsepower. We have the um, McLeod Billet Lighten Flywheel, Billet Aluminum Lighten Flywheel. Um, made a nice. Uh, change for the car rpm a lot quicker at the same time we did a one-piece drive shaft Ford racing uh, That works out quite well. And if I haven't mentioned already 410 gears out back So a couple to those uh, it makes for a nice setup have some traction issues still we're not laying down uh, I notice uh, The car is just is violent on the bottom end if you come out really hard so we do have billet aluminum lower control arms from Steeda. Steeda's upper control arm and then um, drag uh, or Lakewood drag shocks. Um, that's as far as we've gone with the suspension. I don't want to go too radical because I still want to keep it a road race car. Um, as for the springs, they are lowered springs. They're IBOX with the uh, coilovers up front. Um, the last thing we've done for the car which was a huge uh, uh, power adder. We had the intake ported by Force Engineering. They did an excellent job. We had them dyno the car, and um, just it's just my previous videos, so you can check those out. Anyways, we also did the uh, E85 tune, and we just switched uh, from the SC SCT-X4 to the HP tuner, um, so we tuned down to red key uh, in hopes I could access some of my uh, other features um, as the G mode or the G meter, I should say. Um, I haven't tried that yet. Um, I I don't think the red key now is working as it would have originally because when I insert it into the ignition, I get no indication that red key is activated. So um, it is what it is. Um, that's what we've done to the car. Have not had the car to the track yet. The initial. Uh, test we did was before we did any suspension work and before we had a, a email tune from Red Speed check out that video um, that was last October um, it's testing the boss at the drag ship um, you'll you'll see it it's in my vids check that out um, there's too many vids to try and go back and uh, uh, recollect all of them 
but uh, I do have them all in progression if, if you want to take it you know some time take a look see what's done to a car see what the car has and just check out some of the testing I've done a lot of testing in the street and things like that having fun so thanks for watching like and subscribe Coyotes North take care have a great day